back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tabitha. Please subscribe down below if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it or it's helpful. Today's video is going to be me testing out rosehip seed oil on my face for acne scars for a full month. So for the past month, I have tried out rosehip oil on my skin every single day consistently and I know that I'm wearing a full face of makeup right now so you can't see my skin but in all the check-ins that I do I'm not wearing any makeup so you can see exactly what my skin looks like in natural lighting. So this is what the bottle looks like that it came in. I did keep the box, I'm going to throw it away but this is what it looks like. I did get this from Amazon but it is 100% certified organic rosehip seed oil and I will leave it linked in the description box down below. I gotta say rosehip oil doesn't really smell the best. I don't know what it is because I guess if you buy rose essential oil, it smells like roses, but rose hip seed oil doesn't really smell like roses at all. Um, it has like a really earthy smell. It's not very nice, but um, they say it's supposed to do wonders for your skin. So in today's video, we're going to find out if this worked or not. This was just to try it out for acne scarring. So scarring from previous breakouts. I don't have extreme acne issues, so you can take my opinion with a grain of salt. This is just my experience and um, what it did for me. So I am just going to go ahead and get started with the video. The first check-in was on February 22nd. Today is March 23rd. I will explain everything in the video. Before I forget, you can come say hi to me on my social media, Instagram, and my Twitter. They will be linked in the description box down below. I really hope that this video helps you guys out and cue the first check-in. Hello everyone, so it is the first day. Um, it is February 22nd. Hopefully that will focus on camera. Today is the first day that we're going to be trying out the rosehip oil for acne scarring. Some of you probably think I don't have a lot of acne scarring. Um, I'm going to give you guys a close-up and show you. So you can basically see like a before and then I'll show you guys an after as well. This is where most of my acne scars are. Right here on my chin along my jawline from previous like breakouts and pimples. Like as you can see they do, they do show up. So I'm right here and the main ones are right here. And then I've also got some here as well. Hopefully the camera is focusing completely on this so that you guys can see what my skin looks like. And then I also have some on my forehead. Um, they're pretty small, like on my forehead. The ones on my forehead aren't as intense. They're a lot smaller. I've also seen some stuff online about this helping with like discoloration underneath my eyes and my lids. They're very dark and I've got like some redness around my nose and just discoloration in general. But the main issue and the point of this video is the acne scarring. I showed you guys what it looks like. I'm going to try to do my update at the end of this video at the same time of day so you guys are seeing it in the same lighting with the same camera settings. I want this to be really accurate so today is February 22nd, Friday like I said and I will be checking back in in 30 days and I'm going to be putting it on once a day for sure and then I might do every other day twice a day. We will see um I probably won't do twice a day every day because I don't want to overdo it and I don't want to apply too much. But I'm going to be doing it for sure once a day and then possibly every other day uh, twice a day. I'm actually going to be putting on makeup and filming a video so I'm not going to bother putting it on right now. I will put it on after I take my makeup off later and when I do my skincare. So I will probably put a little clip of that in here. The lighting just won't be as great so I wanted to show you guys what my skin looks like in natural lighting. I'm standing in front of a window. This is completely natural lighting. And yeah, um... I really hope that this video is informative and that you guys like it, and yeah. Alright guys, so let me check the date. It is February 26th, and I believe I started this on the 22nd, so it's been four days, I guess, and I've been using the oil on my face every day and I've kind of been doing the thing that I mentioned about doing like every other day twice a day and then just once a day on the off days so <clears throat> I am going to show you guys what my skin oh it's really bright okay hold on I don't know how much of a difference there actually is in my skin I personally feel like it has improved in certain areas like um down on my chin, like on this side, I think it is. It's kind of faded a little bit, like they're not as red. And I had a few spots come up 
that weren't there before so those are new but this is mainly just testing out like for acne scarring it's not so much like to avoid breakouts as it is like to get rid of acne scarring i don't feel like it's made me break out at all i've been using it for four days and i haven't seen any difference really in my skin so i don't think there's anything negative really to say um and i'll, I'll just keep doing these check-ins like every couple of days once a week um, whenever but I probably won't do them too often I just wanted to show you guys like one update since I've actually been using it since I didn't even show anything since I've done it so I just wanted to do like a little update and just show you guys what my skin is looking like and um, see if you guys notice a difference this is a lot based on what you guys see a difference in so you are the judge look at my skin let me know you know what you think you know if you think it's something that worked that didn't at the end of the month we'll talk more about it um but yeah it is day four i believe hey guys so we're back with a little update um today is march 11th so it's definitely been a while since I've checked in several weeks and but I did lose some footage um, from previous check-ins so that is why there is a big gap um, which is unfortunate but I didn't say like a ton other than um, I'm not seeing like a massive difference truly I'm not I did have a couple of breakouts like even on my forehead I just had some random breakouts that I don't think had anything to do with the rosehip oil I mean it's kind of like that time of month and I get breakouts so it's not like a big deal but this was more just testing for acne scarring and um, since I did have this pimple here there is a completely new scar there you know it hasn't had time to heal that even if it was being effective um, but this is like what my chin looks like I feel like this scar has been here this pimple did like pop a week or so ago maybe not maybe like four or five days ago and so it's been there for a while um, and it hasn't really done too much. It was darker to begin with, but that's just because I had just popped it and it was scabbing over and now it has kind of toned down a little bit. Um, but I can't say that that's due to the rosehip oil because I don't know. But I actually do kind of feel like the redness around my chin has gone down um, a little bit more. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to keep updating you guys until this month is over. We don't have too much longer left. And I am sorry for the gap in the check-ins. Um, but I don't have a ton of thoughts to share with you guys currently, hopefully not losing any more footage. So yeah, uh, it is March 11th, like I said, and this is where we're at with the skin. So it is March 22nd currently, and I haven't checked in since my last check-in, obviously, which was, I want to say like the 14th or something. I'm not 100% positive, but I definitely haven't checked in consistently like I said that I would. I don't really think there was enough to show or to update you guys on every couple of days, um, but I do have some updates right now and I'm thinking I'm going to stop today because I want this video to go up tomorrow um and I know it's only been 28 days not 30 it's been four weeks because today is the 22nd of March but it's technically still a full month I just feel like my skin isn't doing well right now and I want to go back on my body and burdened oil as quick as possible because I feel like that thing has really helped so much with uh like my breakouts in general and stuff I will leave that linked in the description box um I know some of you are probably going to be like, your skin is fine, whatever. But I'm just saying, like, compared to my check-in that you guys saw on February 22nd, like my first check-in, my skin is kind of breaking out. Like, I've just had these pimples on my skin, and I know I said that the last time I checked in about a week ago that, you know, these this is just it's that time of the month. So that's kind of why I've been breaking out. But it hasn't gone away. And it usually doesn't last this long. So for the first couple of weeks of using that rosehip oil, my skin was fine. There was no difference. I don't really feel like it affected me. So I don't really know if this is from the rosehip oil, like just having too much on my skin. Maybe I've been using it too much and I should be using it less frequently. 
um, or if it's just my hormonal pimples sticking around longer. I really don't know, um, but I thought I would show you guys anyway what my chin area is looking like because that's kind of what I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. So we're gonna zoom in a little bit. And I just really want you guys to see, obviously this pimple, you know, was, I just broke out with that and so it's gonna be more prominent and I did have that one pimple here that I told you guys um, was more recent as well. So those two are gonna be more dominant and more red. I do feel like the areas around it might have faded a little bit, but for the most part, just all over my face, I don't feel like it's doing enough to where it's worth it to use it constantly. I might try to add this into my routine as a thing where I use it like once a week or something and then I will keep you guys updated in future videos um, and let you know what I think about it. But to be honest, right now, I'm not sure. And I've heard so many people talk and rave about this and say that it helps with their acne scarring. And maybe it does. Honestly, I don't have like severe acne or severe breakouts to where I can speak for like tons of acne scarring. So if there's anyone out there who has tried it who does have a lot of acne issues, or it deals with a lot of scarring, let me know in the comments if you've tried this and, and this works for you. I just feel like for me, I need to get off of this and try my Body and Burdened Oil again to see if that could maybe improve my skin again, if maybe it was the rose hip oil that has been clogging my skin up in the last week or so. Um, because it didn't in the first couple weeks, so I don't understand why it would be now unless I should be using it kind of um, less frequently, like maybe once a week or something, that might be better. It might work better like that because I have been using it once or twice a day since I started um, consistently. So I don't know, you know, let me know in the comments. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I really wanna hear your guys' thoughts um, considering the breakouts on my face. Like if that is from the rosehip oil, it wasn't worth it. Again, I don't know that it is, and I will keep you guys updated in future videos, so be sure to subscribe down below to stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, I, I don't really have ton, a ton else to share on this in this video. I feel like it might help a little bit if you have really bad acne scarring, but I would definitely say to try out and just see if it causes you to break out because who knows if that's what this is doing. Anyways, um, that's all that I have for today's video. I just wanted to show you guys what my skin looks like so that you can really, you know, do your own evaluation. Um, I have been using this consistently for a full four weeks and I feel like it's a long time to use a product like this and I've used it every day. So I feel like if you're going to see a difference, it would have been evident by now. I would love to hear your thoughts. I'm Like I said, I'm going to keep using this and implementing it into my skincare routine probably about once a week. But I'm going to go back to my body and burdened oil for now and just see if that clears up my skin because that really has never failed me. So yeah, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Thanks so much for watching this video. Um, please subscribe if you have not already. Give it a thumbs up. Follow me on my Instagram and I will see you guys next time. Bye.